Login. Welcome to our Walled Garden online tutorial. This video highlights the features on the login screen and homepage. To log in, you must enter your username, which is your email address, and your password. You must tick the checkbox to accept the terms and conditions to proceed. If you're having problems, click on Problems Logging In at the bottom of the login screen. Here, there are two things you can do. Either reset your password or contact us. To reset your password, enter your username, which is your email address, and click Submit. An email will be sent to you with instructions and links to help you proceed. You should receive this within 15 minutes. Your password will only need to be reset if you've forgotten it. To contact us, please select your country from the drop-down menu. A contact telephone number and email address for that country will then be displayed. The details for both City and Guilds and ILM will be shown. Home page. On the home page, you'll find the following things. A header bar which displays the relevant city and guilds and ILM logos dependent on customer setup. In the top right-hand corner, you will see your details including your name, centre name, customer ID and centre number. There is also the option here to log out of Walled Garden, and we would recommend you do this if you're away from your computer. The system will automatically log you out after eight hours of inactivity. Lastly, you can find the cogwheel symbol in this corner and clicking here will take you to your user settings. The header bar stays visible no matter where you are in the site. Below the header bar is the first navigation bar. If you hover over the buttons here, you will see some tooltips to explain what each option does. The options are Home, which returns you to the home page wherever you are in the site. Catalog, which allows you to view qualifications, place orders, and use the Rules of Combination calculator. If your centre submits your orders via our EDI, Electronic Data Interchange System, then you would use the Data Services area of Walled Garden to place orders. Under Reports, you can view and download various reports. The Settings option lets you view your centre settings and Walled Garden accounts. If you are an ILM centre, you'll have the option to manage logos and additional text for E&D products. This is the shopping basket icon and is visible throughout the site. If you have a saved order, a value will be displayed in the icon. You can click here to see your saved order. Next is the carousel, which gives you updates and information about products and services. The carousel automatically scrolls or you can click through it using the arrows. If you click on any of these updates, it will take you to the relevant page to find out more. For centres that work with City and Guilds, you will see focus alerts. These give you communication alerts relating to the industries and qualifications that you have signed up to. To view all of them, use the arrow keys at the side of the panel. To read more about each item, click the blue panel which says Read More. Centres that work with ILM will see a News and Updates section. This helps keep you up to date with the latest news and developments from ILM. At the bottom of the page are various widgets. Help and Support will tell you where to go for just that. For centres that work with City and Guilds, there is a widget to sign up for focus alerts to stay up to date with qualifications and products. For any queries regarding Walled Garden, click on the Contact Us widget. Finally, you may from time to time see an alert. These will be displayed in red at the top of the page to tell you about any maintenance taking place on Walled Garden or any issues with your account. We hope that you have found this tutorial useful. Check out our online resource hub for further information.